There's just something to me about burning my tongue off that I love. With flavor, of course. And so there are a lot of things that I make that are spicy. But this recipe is really special to me because it's the first thing I ever made on Food Network. It got me my job. <laughs> The best thing I ever made that's spicy that put me right here in this seat are my hot chicken wings. Let me tell you something. Any kind of team sport where everyone gathers around the TV to eat, I'm making hot wings. I mean, it could be the Grammy Awards. I don't care. That's a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was working as a radio host here in New York. I had my catering business. Someone that worked for Emerald Lagasse staff. He said he'd like for me to come on Emerald Live. I'm really happy to have a guest tonight that uh, is not only a talented hip hop DJ, but she's a caterer to some of the biggest hip hop stars around. They told me he'll decide if you're going to go on to the stage and cook with him or if you're going to stay in one of those cool seats, you know, where you just get fed. So I was sitting there enjoying the show and he said to me, So you want to? Come on up and... I'd love to. Come on. Can I? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and there I was, standing on stage with Emeril, making my hot chicken wings. That was the first time that I'd ever realized that I might want to do food and television together. Those wings got me in the door. And it's so simple. But sometimes it's the simplest things that are the best thing you've ever made in your life. So here we go. First things first, the dredge. So I'm just putting in some flour, salt, pepper, and then a little bit of heat, because these are my spicy wings. A little bit of cayenne. All right, now I'm going to put it right into my paper bag. This is my trick, too. Paper bag is best. Why? I don't know. Something about how it kicks back the flour and doesn't allow it to gum up on the sides really, really helps. And it's great for even coating. These are just the chicken wings that I went ahead and separated. Took the tips off, put them in there. Shake them up like the cops. Shake, 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 it's a good time now to make my hot sauce. This is gonna be your hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot, nice and sweet, a little bit of kick. Some butter, put that right in. Mm, 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 mm. Come on now. I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt, dried basil. You can do oregano or thyme. Something that immediately gives off its flavor and its scent. Crack in some black pepper. Gotta cut the butter with something, so you need a little bit of lemon juice. But first, a little bit of lemon zest and then squeeze away. All right, so, ready to fry? Let's do it. The oil has to be the right temperature, which is starting higher than 350, so you settle at 350. I say don't go past 13 minutes to fry them. And then once you get those chicken wings straight from the 350 degree oil, then wings right into the sauce. Give them a nice little toss. Palm looking good. <laughs> this looks good. Dig in. I just love the crunch to the juicy. I love the outside. It's so crispy. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. You gotta love my hot wings. Hope you do. 